Hi everyone, my name is Paula Taylor and this is Tackle the Feelings Before the Behaviour. And today's vlog is going to be on people pleasing and in particular people pleasing within the family because it becomes a role, a very important role and my last video I did was on the scapegoat role in the family and I thought it was only sort of complementary to do the people pleaser role as well. Um, and I'm calling it a role because we kind of do adopt it as a role. And you can be both the scapegoat and the people pleaser. You can have multiple roles within families. Um, but often we get one and the other. The people pleaser or the, the, the child, the sibling that overcompensates for all the bad behavior of the scapegoat um, often is a dynamic that happens. But basically the people pleaser or people pleasing in general as, as a defense mechanism stems from the fawn response. So you get a fight, flight, freeze, or fawn. And fawn, a fawn response or a people pleasing response is where we try to make ourselves either invisible, non-confrontational, really, really good, really easy, really pleasant, going along with what everybody wants, trying to make everybody happy. Um, and that isn't because we just love attention and want to be popular. It's actually out of trauma and defense so that we avoid things like confrontation. We avoid being rejected or talked badly about or seen badly and being fundamentally abandoned, which shows us that the core emotion in all of this is shame. So it actually can be a cocktail of, of um, shame, disgust and fear. Um, fear is the, the sort of secondary response to all of this. Um, and that's what brings the fawn response. But the, the fundamentals in here is that we've learnt somewhere down the track within the family unit that to challenge anything, to be our own person, to have our own needs, um, creates problems. It creates distance, it creates maybe even abuse. So we learn very quickly as little kids to please people around us. And to be honest, that scapegoat role and the people pleasing role go hand in hand in childhood or in early adulthood or before we get too bitter being the scapegoat. We try really hard, some of us, to be the good guy. Um, and we try very hard not to show who we are because we feel so fundamentally flawed. So if you haven't watched the video on the scapegoat and it resonates, please do. It's about four minutes long. It's literally the one I made before this one. Um, where it's really important to see that roles in families sort of define us. And they shouldn't. We, we can break free of that. But be, when we get given a role within the family unit or where we adopt a role, we tend to take this into the outside world later on. And it can be very difficult to break these patterns because they come from that place of shame. They come from that need for acceptance, for belonging, for connection fundamentally. And that is what we're striving for. People pleasing even attention seeking in kids, all of those kinds of behaviors are striving for connection. And we need connection as human beings. So it becomes quite a survival thing to adopt these ways of wanting to please everybody, wanting to be perfect, wanting to be the best person around the family so that it takes the pressure off the family. There's a, a lot of reasons why we do it. But it is a defense or coping mechanism. And what it does is it prevents us from being able to be our authentic selves. And you find yourself at the end of a long stint of people pleasing as extremely lost. So I hope that's been helpful. Take care.